Not with that ward nearby. Ready and waiting. up there a gateway to the mythical Aranu whatever that is otherwise terrible tragedy dark doings sick secrets and a wild guess shall we Derelict. Is he really inside? If we want to stop for a wee minute, this place will do.
What do you want? More to the point. What do you need? Seeker. Milady. Do you know Lamy Haskell? What can you tell me about him? I remember him well. A strange little boy. Quiet. Bright, though. Not like his father in either respect. You remember him better than you remember the others. Yeah, well... You notice the strange kids when you're a strange kid yourself. We'll be going. Sure. Yes, dear? I'm sorry if I'm a little behind here, but... The Void? What on Earth? <laughs> no, not on Earth. And not of this Earth. It's where the dead go if they cannot have their ascent. So if ascent is heaven, the Void is hell? That's one name for it. Not a very good name. A name bestowed by mortals on a place they can never fully understand. When a ghost is banished, is that where it ends up? Of course, banisher. Have you never wondered where you were sending them? We were taught that banishing destroyed them. If it can ease your worrying. Know that the Void is where most souls go anyway. You seem very sure of yourself on this. I studied hard when I was younger. I've always been a quick learner. Do all witches know this stuff? Not all. Many witches have the law. But only two banishers are privy to the knowledge. You two. As a seeker, I sought out the law. The void is so close here, knowing about it seemed a good idea. Would a hedge witch have something interesting in her nail? Goodbye, Sir Idiot. Fo
ghost wards cannot manifest. I am warded. I cannot. I... Much better. Guess we're not going that way. There should be a way up here. Something's nearby. Where is it? What hides here in the dark? Come out, come out. Looks like Lamy was trying to translate some sort of ritual. Not any ritual. This is the Lesser Palagenesis. Uh, I guess no one warned Lamy that grimy reincarnation rituals were not without risk. This relay lad seems dangerous. His apprentice seems to be following him down the same path. So, what are you hiding in here, evil spawn? Glancing at the original writing, Lamy's work was poor. No wonder the ritual he spawned for Caleb from those botched words of power went wrong.
more ghost wards. Someone was being extra careful. He doesn't speak well of his dad. He thought he was better. That's not a particularly difficult task, in fairness. We need to get to the top floor. Bet we'll find something. Red, come look. No crank, great. Why did he feel like he needed so much protection? More magic muckery. He wished to disguise his presence, or perhaps to distract from it. It's just a lift. Why is this mechanism so complex? That book, again. The Agrippa. That's not good. Not good at all. What level of not good are we talking about, exactly? This book promises eternal life, but the promise is a trap. Let's hope it hasn't been used.
all this is more serious than we thought. I'm apprehensive. Not just because we're going underground. We'll be careful. We don't know what Lamy was up to. And the signs are not encouraging. You know, I could get to like it underground. The darkness, the gloom, the cool air. Really? No, not really. Not at all. Hell's bars. Another sorrow used as a guardian. Send us. When all this is over, I might retire. You'd miss it. You know you would. You need to see this. Dead animals, again. Different symbols and magic. Scenes they were used as bait. This is how we got through the sorrow's vigilance. Remove it. It slips through my fingers. for us to get through.
So, here we are. I suppose now, we step into the void. <sighs> suppose we do. Unclean spirit, be gone. Rituals, void breach, general weirdness. Only can't be far. Something has me. Wards. Wards. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? Beware. Wards. What? Spectres. They haven't noticed us. Stay low. Ghost wards. I cannot manifest. Careful now. An Ariadne's thread leading through the void. Very useful indeed. Oh, very useful right until it falls apart. Then you're stuffed like force meat in a turkey. Creepy hideout. The governor spawn likes a bit of drama. This is some dark, sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. This one's different. It looks like it died diseased. I feel like we're not done here. Ugh. What is this thing? Banish your rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. <laughs> so, you can see me. 
Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Husker? You may talk. A banisher ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. As hiding places go, the void is quite the choice. Yes, an amazing place. Oh, plane? World? The Aralu is not easily described, but it makes a fascinating study. Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we are the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. We must talk of Caleb Watson. Why in the hell would you give him a resurrection ritual? Ruth's death hit poor Caleb hard. He was alone, and so I would often stop by his workshop. We talked. He took a keen interest in my studies and was a good listener. When he learned that she could possibly return, he had one question. How? You saw his grief as an opportunity to test the effects of the lesser palingenesis. Oh. You know the ritual too? Amazing, isn't it? I've studied it. The actual ritual, not the mangled version you gave Caleb. Yes, and I'm sorry. I found it in a copy of De Occulti Philosophia by Cornelius Agrippa von Nettesheim. A remarkable book. I've met my fair share of illustrious occultists, and none owned an authentic Agrippa. Much is lost in translation or altered in the printing. I doubt your copy is an exception. Of course! The power is in the words, and mine were wrong, so the power went awry. How very fascinating! You mistake foolishness for audacity. You must mend your ways. Surely the acquisition of knowledge cannot be a sin. Do you remember Deborah? Miss Comenius. Yes, of course, I remember. Your father tasked us with an investigation. One way or the other, we must return with the mystery solved. Ah. I think I understand what you're saying. I might be in a tiny little bit of, uh, danger. You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell, and I am a man of many sciences. I am in fact a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning, and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? Are you a demonologist like your father? More or less. Less, more so. My father sees occultism through the eyeglass of his faith, but I know better. So, more so? If you don't share your father's faith, what do you believe? I believe in the afterlife. The proof is about us. And if the void embodies eternal despair, there must too be a place of hope. But where? I ask myself, where? We find you up to your neck in the blackest magic, speechifying about your transcendent journey. Your life is on the line, Lammy. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Uh, I can imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. 
He saw me as his heir. Then of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them, the very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them where he does not. I did no wrong, apart from a little theft. You've studied demonology. Did you do it alone? When my father forbade me to continue, I confess I disobeyed him in secret. Those big books were very boring until they were forbidden. Suddenly I could not get enough of their secret knowledge. Funny, eh? More recently, a good friend of my father showed me that I had only been scratching at the surface. Who was your father's friend? An itinerant Frenchman who often visited New Eden in recent years. He called himself a true pursuer. As a thinker, he was prolific and profound. My father was so proud to be included in his discourse. For him, knowledge is the ladder to greatness, and greatness is the prize. To me, knowledge is itself the prize. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. By the Aralu, do you mean the Void? Neither name does it justice. This place is beyond words. The Aralu, Mr. McCraith, is made of the very fabric of our primordial myths. Isn't it amazing? How can you be sure the Void has tainted the region? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Was it the same illness? I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, ours is a corruption of mind and spirit and I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. What do you expect to find at the source of the ooze? To find a cure. The ooze seeps into our world, sickening us. I may be able to stop it. Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? Let's go take a closer look at that ooze then. And with that sorrow gone, I can leave. Do be careful. My home is your home. If you need anything, help yourself. The Aralu is not your home. Lamy, but thank you. Uh, pardon my morbid enthusiasm, Mr. Stuarte. Could I ask you a few questions? What do you wish to know? Do you still need to eat? Do you feel hunger? Sorry, it's just you're the first ghost I've met, uh, in person, as it were. I don't eat. Not in the way you do. I feel hunger. Again. Not in the way you do. Fascinating. And can you touch things, smell them? 
Our colour's the same as you remember them. My senses are different. And there, we should get going. So, the pious governor's unassuming son is our evil Harrow's witch. I was as earnest as he. Ah, the rank enthusiasm of youth. It's sickening, really. I don't know that I buy Lamy's hair of the dog theory, but I feel strange, and I suspect the ooze. Only one way to find out. Oh, God. I need a wee bit of help here. Ugh, Lamy was right. This stuff means business. You're on your own. Missed me? Always. through the breach. It operates like a festering wound. How delightful. Let's see what lies on the other side. Underground, looks like. Wonderful. The ooze affects the incarnate, too. Huh? Who goes there? I don't know, but I don't think we're alone. What might you be then? What was? Is oh shite! Did you did you just say shite? You. Is that a house from the Harrows? We may be below the well. No wonder they all got sick.
This house belonged to a certain Antipas and Clemency Gibbs. Is it just me, or...? I felt it, too. What is luck in here? Time to work, Vanisher. Yes, something's here. Gibbs's land was barren. He was struggling for money. Look up. The ooze, uh, oozed through the very stone. Mr. and Mrs. Gibbs, have you read my paper? I read it, I. And then I washed my hands and prayed for grace. You claim to prove that there is no curse. Well... A witch would say that, wouldn't she? Wherever people gather to live, disease takes hold, and I believe... What are you doing? Your evil lies shall be destroyed. We know who you are, and you shall be judged. Witch! They were determined to do for her. She built a case for her rationality, and they tore it apart.
And of all of them, just this one house fell down. Maybe it was personal. Is the Gibbs' house targeted by the ooze? Obviously. Look around you. Standing by. <laughs> Mrs. Gibbs, I presume. A sight to behold. Wasn't I always? Red, I can't manifest anymore. I am warded. I cannot. Better. You're welcome. Now let's inspect the body. Shall we? Expect the noise.
Clemency Gibbs blamed the epidemic on a witch. Come from New Eden time with the governor. That's not what Deborah's research pointed at. Well, the Gibbs were not at home to rational explanations. See anything? Either the water table is full of ooze, or there's another source. Let's search upstream. of little buggers. Cold. Wasn't I always? Invigorated. It was weird, that. What? Pleasant? Told you. Don't step in that. I mean it. We'll find way around then. Take care. The place is warded. And you will not be judged. Forgive and Those echoes are here and the shadows speaking. They always appear near the ooze. So do the whispers. But which came first?
The whispers say the same things over and over. What kind of entity would be so obsessed? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> This isn't over yet. Peter! This looks perfectly drinkable. Famous last words. Why hasn't the poison spread to the groundwater? Perhaps it shifts and shapes, like the void. Well, at the very least, it shifts. Looks like the ooze comes from a distinct source. Like falling off a log after being startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Malice has been bound to this. Unclean spirit, leave now. <laughs> 